हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द फ्री ऑटोमेशन लर्निंग चैनल एंड माय नेम इज़ चिराग एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ न्यू टॉपिक एंड इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस हाउ वी एग्जीक्यूट टेस्ट स्क्रिप्ट विदाउट ए पी के फाइल राइट एंड व्हाट इज़ अ ए पी के फाइल ए पी के फाइल इज़ द एप्लीकेशन फाइल वैन वी इंस्टॉल नेटिव एप ऑन माई मोबाइल एट दैट टाइम वी नीड टू इंस्टॉल अ फाइल that file extension would be a dot apk file if i i am talking about android case right and if i am talking about uh, ios case then we need dot ipa file to install that application in ios device so in some condition we do not have that apk file so how can we handle our test script and this is a very good advantage of by using apm uh, i worked in calabash in calabash we need application dot apk file uh, if uh, we are working in android and but apm we do not need apk file to run our test script we just have the package name and uh, the precondition of that that application is installed in our device right so it is pre condition that that application which we are going to automate or we are going to work should be present in our device and uh, it is not necessary that application is should uh, uh, should present in our framework or should uh, Uh, should be available at that time if it is installed in our uh, device then it is work for us so today agenda would be how to execute test script without apk file right and second point what is a apk file as i already discussed that a uh, native application has extension dot apk and it uh, install in android device and uh, by using two capabilities th that is app package and app activity we can run our application on mobile without uh, having uh, apk file on our code and how to identify package of the application so uh, in this case we need a application package because we need app package capability so how we can identify package we will talk about this so firstly i will show you maybe you watched watched or you uh, have has remember that things when i uh, created a video maybe tutorials 8 i used apk file right so i am just going to show you what is the difference between to use apk file and to use without apk file uh, the code which i have already written in my previous uh, tutorial so let me open my eclipse to show you code so th there would be a tutorial 8 you can go to and into a github uh, github my code is present there you can easily download from there and you can easily watch so you can see that here if i am talking about in this let me highlight if i am talking about this line in this line i am going to use dot apk file so in this case my test script first installed apk file into mobile uh, mobile device and then start executing so this capability app means i am going to pass apk file through code right and what if i do not have apk file or i need to um, automate such scenario i need to automate uh, or read sms from messages and there would be no apk file because the messages or sms app is pre installed when i purchased my mo mobile right so this there would be a system application so how we can automate 
maybe there is a scenario where i need to automate calculator the calculator which is in system or mobile by default calculator so the at that time i do not have apk so how can we just automate that scenario so at that condition this uh, um, we need we do not have apk files so we need to automate the scenario also so i am going to show you let me close this this is my emulator and if i'm if i need to automate calculator so there is a system application i do not have apk for this calculator so how can i automate so this type of scenario we need to use this app package and app activity uh, capabilities to automate uh, such scenario where we do not have apk file right so let me open tutorial 9 which i created previously and in this you can see that there would be a two capabilities and here we do not use app capabilities if i am talking about this line I here uh, at tutorial 8 I used app cap capabilities where I need where I have to pass dot apk file but in tutorial 9 I am not using app capabilities instead of app app capabilities I am using app package and app activities in app package I need to pass package of that calculator application so how can I identify I would identify this package through a ui automator viewer i already discussed ui automator viewer in my previous video those guys who do not watch that video please go and watch so at this video i just show you how we can uh, identify or inspect a package so you can see you can see there is a package there would be a package app android calculator 2 so i open ui automator view i take a snapshot and at that time the package is this com dot android calculator 2 so i need to pass this package where i have to pass app package right what do you mean by this app activity app activity would be like the first activity which is launched by the application so my in my case calculator uh, launch first activity would be a calculator so we have to pass this capabilities uh, this value for engaged app activity right so after doing this we can run our code easily and uh, i as already show you i already run this code to you and this uh, this is my and this is uh, this is my tutorial 9 code so guys you can watch to tutorial 9 code i just want to show you this type where we uh, this type video where we do not have a app application at that time but in in how we can automate or run our test script so at that time we can use app package and app activities right for using that package so for this video i just stop this video here because i already run this code at tutorial 9 you who do not watch tutorial 9 just go and watch and let me see the yes we covered all agenda which we have de uh, has decided defined in today agenda so guys thank you for watching this and i will upload this code into github you can download or take a clone of my code if you have any query any suggestion you can ask me and bye bye take care